Now, Sean Hudson on the LSU bench. In her fourth season as LSU head coach, two of her three previous teams have advanced into the NCAA tournament and uh, certainly looking to make it three out of four. So here we go, LSU in gold and the team from Commerce, Texas in white. I, I was visiting with Sean, Coach Hudson, before the game and watching her take some shots and turn. Molly Baker, I, can, I said, I can watch Molly Baker get the ball. Here's Great a try look. and it rolls just wide Dobles. of the far side goal post. Doblis looking for that opportunity. She's on fire right now. Very, very, very confident in her play. Her awareness of where she is and where she, how to put the ball at her feet. It's very, very good to see. Yeah. Both teams, good, strong. Winning that first ball, winning the ball out of the air is huge. It's something LSU's been wanting to do consistently. Herman's daughter looking for Baker, fires. It's deflected and rolls over the end line. Notice that shot was, was hot. That was a very hard shot. Great save right there by McKenzie. Good ball. Baker punches it ahead. There's an opportunity here, and it is in the goal. The LSU Tigers get the goal. And Sage Glover pokes it home for LSU. Great passing, little movement slowly up the field. That was fantastic little flick by Molly Baker. Sage Glover staying composed, tapping it right around the goalie and going far post. LSU has dominated time of possession so far. Dominated pressure offensively. Has one goal to show for it, trying to get some more as we hit the midway point of the first half. Sarah Pollock Dixon, Lynn Rollins with you. Thank you for joining us. This is Herman's daughter. Her taking her space. She's going to take a it. long shot, and it's off the top of the goal. Herman's daughter, perhaps the most accurate and with the most velocity from distance, almost drove that one home from well outside the box. She wants it, and you know, she sees that space. You great movement by Molly Baker cutting across and creating more opportunity and, and room for Herman's daughter there. That was a great shot. So following through, having that toe pointed down, landing on that shooting foot with a little bit more drive, your chest a little bit more over the ball, that would have made that that ball into that upper 90 portion of the goal as opposed to hitting the hitting the post. Just a little bit more. Oh, a header down deep into the box, but nobody was home for LSU. A good idea there. Dope. LSU again on the attack, goalkeeper leaves, breaks it up, another opportunity for the Tigers, and it's smashed way high. LSU perhaps a little bit aggressive there. LSU wants to become more dangerous on corner kicks. Good touch by Jordan Johnson right there where it could have been a, a jumbled up situation. Gonzalez poked it into the middle, hoping a teammate would find that open spot. It didn't work out, but LSU with an opportunity. This is Gonzalez again, Great. working one-on-one. -on -one, sends it to the middle, headed and miss hit by Herman's daughter, I believe. Yes, it was. Well-timed, good ball movement, good work there. Herman's daughter probably body angle just a little bit off. If she would have had, you know, her hips open and facing the goal a little bit more, that ball it would have been a goal. But that was that was great contact that she had. See how she she redirected the ball downward makes it so dangerous for a goalkeeper to be able to get. Or LSU to get. has has uncorked 11 shots, gaining some possession and maintaining it. Inside two minutes left now in the first half. Good look. That's hooked and it is beyond the goalkeeper. A twisting shot to the left side. That's a Great Gillian shot. Gillian McKenzie couldn't find it. And Raylan Prince puts the Tigers 
on the scoreboard again late in the first half. Raylan Prince right here lines it up, puts a lot of spin on it. That thing is darting like a Paul Skeen slider as it finds the net. Good it's ball. in front, it's headed, it's in! Great. A clean header, and That's the Tigers take a 3 nothing lead. Fantastic cross right there, smart ball, ball, but even better, stronger, smarter execution on that header right there. Brittany Bertram on the goal, the 5'7", fifth year senior from Slidell. Watch number 27 execute her second goal of the season. Beautifully headed home. I think LSU should swing the ball a little bit more. Good look. Not the touch that Kelsey Major wanted, but make something of it. Left footed shot is up and it's in. She's been wanting an opportunity like this all game. And then way to recuperate from a missed touch. Not what she wanted, but she got around and continued to push, 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 and made it a great opportunity and finished that ball. Kelsey Major finds the back of the net. A deft shot right here. Set up, it's on her foot. Spins, left-footed, and hooks it beyond the goalkeeper. That's clinical. That's, that's sticking with it. Baker on the move. Put the line, put Baker the takes on two defenders, swings it to the right side. What? Here's the setup, and nobody home. That one was behind the two strikers, but the return is good. It's Ramey Noel. Ramey Noel with a solid following up run and getting that well composed finish. That was money. Well done by Ramey Noel. Love that flick by Baker to Sage Glover. Sage knowing, get that ball across, and there she is with speed. One time touch, one time finish. Beautiful. Keep that ball. You heard somebody say, play simple, play simple. And that's what LSU needs to continue to do. Don't play outside your box, play within yourself, play the way you know how to play. Keep possession. Beautiful flick by Raylan Prince. It's in front, it's headed, it's home. That is, that's gorgeous. And that was from creative play on that sideline right there. Ava Gallagher will get credit for the header and the Tigers execute beautifully a for their sixth goal of the season. Great. Or sixth goal of this game. Yes, a great Galligan goal. One that we've been waiting to see. Fantastic. But I loved the, the creative play that came off of a creative one little heel flick by Raylan Prince and playing quick, playing simple. Well done. Oh, well done. Beautiful. And I don't know if that was, was it Galligan? I think it, it was. It was Major. Well, no, it's Major, okay. Defending and not letting that backside go unmarked. Sanatelli comes out and grabs it in traffic and that will be the final play as these teams will walk off the field and LSU walks away with a 6-0 win. The Tigers completely dominated time of possession at least 70% over the course of what we saw today. It was 70% at halftime. LSU only led 2-0 at the end of the first half, but garnered four goals in the second half, and Sarah completely a dominating performance against still a young Division I program in Texas A&M Commerce, but uh, LSU back on the beam with six goals today, the most they've had this year. They also uncorked the most shots they've had in a single match this year, so LSU gets its fourth win of the season. Now they sure did. I think, you know, hats off to the discipline and the, and the constraints that, that Commerce put on LSU today, but I think LSU came out with a mentality and a mindset that they need, they needed to get their offense built. They needed to fix and tweak some some defensive opportunities, some offensive opportunities, and, and they did that. They came to work, and, and they finished what they came to do. So we'll quickly recap the goal scorers for you before we say good afternoon. It was Major with two goals today, the first of her career, here uh, first at LSU this season. Uh, Bertram had a goal, Prince had a goal, Glover had a goal, and Noel also had a goal. The Tigers with two in the first half and four in the second half. Six nothing, the final, final words from you. I, again, I think the LSU Tigers came out and, and they they were well you ready? disciplined today. 
and they, they have a lot to be happy about. And, and going into what they've got, they've got Pepperdine. They've got some big games coming up in this stretch. So I, they should walk off and be proud and have some pep in, in their practices to come this week for what they have to, to do. So that wraps it up today. A hot, sultry afternoon in Baton Rouge, and LSU comes away a winner. For Sarah Pollock Dixon, I'm Lynn Rollins, saying so long from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The final score is LSU wins its fourth of the season against two setbacks. LSU 6, Texas A&M, Commerce, nothing. Yeah, really excited. Obviously, uh, you know, anytime you get a win at this level is, is really good. I think uh, I think just for some of the goal scorers and assist makers today, really excited for Kaylee Swaringa with two assists um, as a freshman. Probably could have had a third if Ava had broken the crossbar in half on her effort. Um, and two goals for Kelsey Major, who uh, is somebody that has just had an unbelievable attitude and work rate since she arrived here. Missed last season, obviously, with a big injury. So just so excited to see her get her first goal in pull and goal today. First and second, actually. Um, but overall, just some, some really good soccer. Um, lots of different players contributing. Um, you know, Texas A&M Commerce made it difficult in the first half, which is putting a lot of numbers behind the ball. Uh, but we created plenty of opportunities. Um, and then in the second half, as they fatigued, uh, just were able to capitalize on a few, few more moments. So overall, really pleased. I think now we've just got to use this as an opportunity to, to build on this, going into a huge, huge game for us against Pepperdine on Thursday.